Hi everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can make a door open when we approach it through some code and of course some in Unity animation. So right here I have imported this sci-fi door from the asset store that you can also open the asset store and get. This one is called the gate small and it's just a standard uh, prefab asset. Because I'm working in the URP, these assets need to be converted into that render pipeline. So we'll start by going to window, we'll go to rendering, render pipeline converter. In most of the cases, material upgrade is going to be enough, initialize and convert, save and continue, and now it's updated. So this door here is consisting of different elements. So if I unfold here, you can see that there is the door and there's the frame. I would like to animate the door so that it has an effect of just being sliding out into the side, so into this wall here. To do this, I need the Unity Animator because this doesn't have an animator on itself. So I'm gonna to go to Window, Animation, and Animation. So with this door selected, I can go in here in the animator and I can click Create Animation. It'll prompt me to save my animation. I'm just gonna go call it door anim. And now I should be able to just animate the different values that the door has. So I'm gonna add a property. It's gonna be a transform position and just hit the plus button. So now I have two keyframes here to the one in the beginning and one at the end, but they don't de really do much. So I'm gonna to go to the end here to the last keyframe. I'm gonna hit record. I'm gonna drag the door to the side. I'm gonna turn off the recording again and now I have an animation of the door opening. So it's a sliding motion. This is currently a Bezier, meaning that it has that acceleration curve to it. So it has that a uh, bit of weight to it. If you don't really like that, you can always select your keyframes, right click them and choose any of these tangent manipulations. So both tangents set them to linear. So then you get just a standard linear animation. I'd like this to be a bit faster. Currently it's a full second long. So I'm gonna make it, let's say 20 frames. So a bit below a second, just so that it opens quite quickly. So now I can close this uh, animation panel again and I have gotten a animator applied to the door. You should also be able to find inside of your mess of a asset pack here, you should be able to find your door anim and your door controller. The door anim itself is this one over here. That's the one we just created and we would like to turn off the loop time. So it just doesn't always loop. Next up, select your door, please go into the animator. So just double click the animator. You should now be able to see this animator panel where you can see all of these states that the animation can be. Currently, as soon as the game starts, we go to entry and jump straight to door anim, meaning it would just start playing back this animation. We don't really want that. We want the door to not do anything to begin with. So we will right click, create a state and empty. We'll just leave it up here as an empty state. We don't really need it to do anything. So we'll right click it and set it as our default state. So now we have door anim here that just plays back. And we also want one to be able to close the door. So let's select the door here and let's duplicate it. So in this case, control or command D on your keyboard. Um, it's called door anim zero. I will just call it door anim close so that we know for a fact that it's gonna close the door. So these two animations are of course the same, which is kind of a bad thing because we don't really want the door to be able to open twice. So what we can do is we can actually select the door anim close here over in the Inspector, we should be able to set the speed to minus one instead. So we're just playing that animation back in reverse. So now what we need is we actually need a trigger. So to be able to do that, let's go back to the scene here. Let's select the gate small and let's add a component. This component is just a standard box collider. But in this case, the box collider, instead of being just in here, let's make it very broad so that when we get close to the door, it should get triggered by the uh, collider in our player here. So I'm gonna move this uh, just down to make sure that it can kind of see the full collider here. You can always tweak the, uh, the, the collision settings, but the whole deal here is that this one should be set to trigger. So the next thing here is our script. So let's click add component and we'll add a new script. We'll call it door control. Let it generate and compile. So now inside of our door control script here, let's delete our update and our start methods and just set up a public animator to know which animator to trigger and we'll call it door animator. Now we need our on trigger enter and on trigger exits. So let's add a on trigger enter and our on trigger exit. Just to make sure that we can't open the door with let's say the football that we have. So anything that goes into that trigger will uh, make the door open. We want to make an if statement to check if the collider is actually the player. So we'll say if the other collider dot compare tag is equal to player. 
Then one we, what we wanted to do is to take the door animator dot play, and we wanted to play back the name of the animation that we have created, which is called door anim. So these need to be the same as we have in these right here. So door anim in this case, lowercase door, uppercase a in anim, and we want the exit to have essentially the same thing. So the script itself here, I just copy pasted. So if the other compare tag player, in this case, it's not door anim only, it's door anim close. And I can see here that the compare tag is currently set to player with lowercase, it should be player with capital P, because that's the, the tag that is set up in Unity. So we are gonna save and then we'll jump back into Unity. And just to make sure this guy here, if we take a look at him, so we need to select the nested prefab here, and the armature, it should have a tag of player. If this is called anything else, or if it's set up to be anything else, you would need to change that in the code. So we'll jump into the animator so that you can see how this is set up for the door itself. So I'm gonna select the door here. You can see the animator for the door, and you'll be able to see the playback down here. So if I go into play mode, so the guy here, he can run around, and you can see that our animation is just playing that new state, that empty state. So if I try to push the soccer ball into the, into the trigger, nothing really happens. But if I walk my person here into that trigger, it opens up. If I walk back out of it, it closes. So this effect is essentially just opening and closing a door. I can run through it and then it closes again. So my trigger, of course, isn't fully perfect on the other side here. So there might be a bit of an issue regarding that. But that's again just the trigger that you would have to, to move around. So here it's also quite easy to start modifying the animator controller. So let's say that you want like a key system. You want it uh, the player to pick up a key somewhere. So let's just for the simplicity of it, set up a public Boolean that we call key. So now if the other compare, compare tag is player and key is equal to true, then we should be able to open the door. But the standard key value would be false. So this now means that if I go back into the game here, so I didn't set it up for the close mechanism just to make sure that uh, you can see the effect of these two functions. So as you can see here right now, if I move into the door, nothing happens. If I move out of it though, it's gonna play the close animation. So we also need that on the close animation. So, but to be able to make sure that we can actually like pick up a key or something like that, over here in our gate small, where we can see that we have key that is currently set to off. So if I just give myself a key, now I have a key in my inventory, so the Boolean is true. Now I should be able to open the door. And again, close it, open and close. So that's a very simple feature that you could build into the door to set some criteria if you're allowed to open the door or not. A small thing to remember is of course that the door itself doesn't have any colliders on it, meaning that you would have to add a, a box collider so that you can't walk through it because currently it is fully walked through. So right now I don't have the key and I've set up the collider. And as you can see, I can't really walk through it, but had this collider, this box collider been off, well, I would be able to just walk through and clip through the door. So this is a very simple way to set up a quick door opening mechanism. So the door can open in different ways. I just chose a sliding door, but set up an animation, add a trigger collider box, and then just a controller to open and close the door. Thank you for watching everyone.